Just what are we what are we doing today? Welcome back to School of Calisthenics. Today we're going to teach you how to do the ring muscle up. Everybody, meet Georgie. <laughs> We are super excited to welcome Georgie to the coaching team at the School of Calisthenics. She brings a ton of experience in movement, strength work, yoga, fitness training and conditioning to the table. So we are going to get her to showcase some of those skills today by teaching you how to ring muscle up. Before we get started, Georgie, tell me what the prerequisites are. So if you've got the strength to do a high pull up as well as a really deep ring dip, then we can teach you how to do a muscle up within the next five minutes. Five minutes. That sounds like pretty exciting. Let's get started. So strap yourselves in the next five minutes. You're going to learn to muscle up. If you've said you can do strong pull ups on the bar and you're good at deep ring dips. We just need to start with how we change the grip on the ring. If we're going to do these strict, correct? Yes. So a uh, neutral grip on the rings isn't going to work for the ring muscle up. We need to be able to actually pull into the rings and then dip out at the top. So the grip that we're going to use is something called a false grip. The grip on the rings is going to be actually a diagonal kind of line across the hand. And I'm going to feel the ring on the sort of spongier bit of my hand here. So the grip looks a bit like this. If I'm in a neutral position, then I'm going to struggle to actually pull and turn the rings. So if I've got the false grip set up, as I get to the chest, I'm actually going to be able to turn through a lot easier. So the grip is really important. So this false grip position requires a lot of uh, wrist mobilization into flexion. And so some of you, if you're tight around the forearms and around the wrist, we're going to need to mobilize them out first of all, and George is going to show us a few little uh, exercise and drills that you can do to loosen off the wrist to get into a more effective false grip. So join us down on the floor. Let's have a look at getting these wrists a little bit more mobile. OK, so I need to have a fair bit of flexion in my wrist to be able to go into this false grip position. So I'm just going to go onto the backs of my hands. You'll notice that I've turned the armpit of my elbow forward and that's going to help my arms extend. As you might find to begin with, we're here. So if you turn the armpit of the elbow forward and point the elbow backwards, you can then just gently start to move about onto the backs of your hands. You can choose how much weight you put through. You don't have to put a whole lot of weight through the wrists. Um, you can stay on the knees. You can have a little bit more weight through it by taking one leg back, maybe both. And try that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying it, I'm trying it, liking it. Both together. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's working a little bit of strength in there as well. You're going to feel tightness down the front of the forearm, those extensors which are you're just trying to lengthen in there. Don't go too hard, be nice to your body, be nice to those muscles, be nice to your wrist. We're just trying to encourage more range. If you're super tight, it might be that you need to work on this a little bit more gradually rather than thinking you're going to fix a tight wrist in a matter of seconds. So go slow and go progressive with it. So we've loosened off this wrist and then we're going to look at getting into the false grip now and then how we can actually start pulling in that position. So Georgie, how are we suggesting we get set up? Uh, so as I've said before, centre of the palm on the ring isn't going to work to be able to actually pull up and, pull and turn through the rings. So I'm going to take a grip higher up onto the ring and then just turn it down. That's going to set me in my false grip position. From there, once I've got the false grip, can I then lie back and hold that position and make sure that I don't slip out into a neutral grip? And then can I row thumbs to chest? So what you can see, the wrist over the top um, on that fat pad as, as Georgie goes down into it. Things that are really important that when she pulls up, she maintains the false grip and can pause with thumb touching chest. What we don't want to see is we're just pulling up and then the ring slipping down into the fingers. That means you've lost your false grip. And if you've lost your false grip, the muscle up is out the window. Once you can do that, what we need to try and do is you've got comfortable pulling in that row position. Can we actually do a pull up and the same principles apply? Maintain false grip and pull your thumb to your chest. So just show us what one of those would look like. Setting up at the bottom, feet are going to come off the floor. Can we pull thumb to chest and get your uh, pull up as high, maintaining false grip? That's going to allow you to enter the transition as the final portion. So the false grip's nailed and we can pull up nice and high in that position. The next piece of the puzzle is to navigate ourselves from below the rings to on top of them. And that means we need to understand how to transition to complete our first ring muscle up. And George is going to take us through the process. OK, so we want to set a band up on the rings and just bring the band behind us. Jump yourself into the band and then bring your feet to the floor. When your feet are on the floor, check that both hands are actually set up in false grip. You don't want to be in that neutral uh, grip in the centre of your palm. Get the false grip nailed. Bring yourself to the bottom and then from here, I'm just going to pull thumbs to chest from here, turn through the rings. And then from there, that's where I'm going to go back to my dip. 
Perfect. So as you said at the start, if you've got the prerequisites of being able to do a pull-up and you've got a deep ring dip, you are home and dry when you get those shoulders through between the rings. As Georgia pulls up, you're going to see she pulls a nice stable position here. When you're training, it's great to try and just maintain that strength, strong hold position there because you're building that real capacity. When you do your first ring muscle-up, it's going to be a little bit quicker than that. You want to get up and you want to get through the rings. But build that quality through the training process so that you've got these movement options and you're building strength through the whole position. The last point you'll notice when Georgia comes up between the rings, she doesn't try and turn them out. She just commits to pushing her head and shoulders between, almost like she's gonna head a football. The rings turn automatically and set her into the bottom of a deep dip. What we don't wanna do is think that we have to do that rotation ourselves. It happens automatically just by shifting your body weight forwards. And if you can link all of that together through a little bit of movement patterning, build the strength in the sections where you feel a little bit weaker, you have got your first ring muscle up, a brilliantly achievable movement if you can nail these basic points together and set you on your road to redefining your impossible. Okay guys, so that's a wrap for the ring muscle up. Uh, we've touched down on the mobility required for your wrist to help get in the false grip, how to pull in the false grip, and then also the banded transitions. So if you've got those two prerequisites of being able to do a nice high pull up and a deep stable ring dip, all you need to do is piece those things together and your ring muscle up is going to be very close to completion. If you feel like you need a little bit more help and some more guidance and some structured programs and more tutorials from us in video format so you can get this nailed down even faster, check out the virtual classroom. We've got a full program for the ring muscle up available there for you and you can find it at schoolofcalisthenics.com and there is nothing else to say other than class dismissed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>